Hey guys, this is Jason and welcome back to another tutorial. I'm sorry this is not Tuesdays or Wednesdays or anything. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys uh, my export settings and how I export my videos. This will be a really quick, quick tutorial. I won't show you guys how to drag and drop your videos in Premiere Pro or um, how to center your videos and everything. I'm just going to be showing you guys my export settings. And this is not how I edit my videos, by the way. This is only how I um, export my videos. So I'm going to do this pretty quickly. Let me cut them into parts, delete them. Okay. So, okay, once you got your video edit it properly or once you edit your video you want to export it every time so you can go up here you see file export and press on media or the shortcut key is control plus m so let's go ahead and try the uh you know the shortcut control m and it's going to bring up the box where you export your videos um and here we go so make sure you uncheck match sequence settings and you want to go down here format and click H.264. This is what YouTube recommends for us to use when you want to upload your videos or render your videos and stuff. Um, and use the preset custom. This will be the best pre um, best way that you can export your videos. So, uh, so let's start with the video at the top here, right here. Uh, you want to make a width 1920, 1920 by 1080. Um, if you're doing... Uh, hmm. So if you're doing in 720p, you want to make it 1280 uh, by 720 like that. Okay, 1280 by 720. But my videos are in 1080p. So yeah, and the frame rate is 30. I keep it at 30. You can go up to 60, but I recommend 30. And go to aspect and make sure it's square pixels, TV standard. Uh, NTSC profile high a level 5.0 and when check render render at maximum depth and go down here to see bitrate settings um press VBR to pass and right here uh, this is also important until you see target bitrate bump this up to 10 okay not 20 oh my gosh 10 and you want to make sure the maximum bit maximum bit rate is 20 or 15. It's actually up to you. Keyframe distance, dis keyframe, uh, keyframe distance 720, uh, 7, 72. Oh my god. Okay. And make sure you click use maximum render quality. Next, we're gonna go to audio and make sure it's AAC version one. And also make sure the audio format is AAC. Go scroll down to see channels. Make sure it's stereo, not mono or 5.1. Stereo, okay? Uh, and make sure your audio quality is high. Audio quality. And bitrate uh, here. Bitrate settings in the audio part. I keep it at 192 because I, can, I can't see the difference between 192 through uh, 256. I think they're all the same. But if your uh, bitrate is 112 to 256, I think... They're the same. They don't do any difference. So I just keep it 192 and just make sure it's bitrate. And that's all you have to mess with. Um, and I also recommend you, if you're recording or editing your Minecraft videos, uh, you want to add in some effects such as sharpen, color and correction, which is the brightness and contrast. That is what I use in my videos, just to you know brighten up a bit and just make it look much more better than the original Minecraft video. So yeah, and you can save the preset. After that, you can just click save and name it. And then when you finished editing, you can just, you can just select uh, export and just select the preset without going through the settings again. So this is how you export your videos, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this really short uh, tutorial, and I will see you guys in the next tutorial. Peace out. And also, be, to sh be sure to watch my survival games um, video. Yeah, bye.